Here we go with round two of the British Hill Climb Championship. First to the line comes Graham Wynn. I'm so pleased to see Graham qualify for the runoff. It's something that doesn't happen very often. He's sharing the car, of course, with Scott Moran, who will be running in 10th, uh, uh, having qualified third quickest. Graham Wynn qualified with a 38.39. Remember, it's the GR59 Gould with a 4-litre Judd engine producing I don't know getting on for 700 horsepower but it's producing reliability as well because the engine was built for long distance racing for Le Mans and places like that Graham win a good start and uh, I'm looking for speed through the bridge trap but I can't see it yes I can 102 miles an hour slight twitch as the accelerate to, uh, as the throttle forces the car out of the Tories. Good run, the 38 3 8, almost exactly the same as his qualifying time. Second up, Matthew Ryder. Glad to see Matthew got into the runoff. And I think this is only Matthew's second competitive uh, event with this car. Remember, he's sharing with Will Hall. He's quick and he's uh, again 102, same as Graham, through the bridge trap. Slightly quicker off the line with a 2.21. So he's quite a lot quicker at Pardon and whizzes it through the S's. This will be a nice quickish run. Matthew getting really comfortable in this car and records a 36.76. Good run. We'll see where that ends up. I think it'll be midfield. Zach Zamet qualified with a 38.17. 38.17. He would love to get it into the 36s. Running on Avon tyres. Mac, as I keep saying, flies over, especially from his home in Malta, for this competition. 94 miles an hour at bridge on the good start. 2.09, quicker than the two previous runners. Um, Knack, of course, he's got a much less powerful engine. It's the Hayabusa engine in the back of the Empire Wraith. He's got a terrific downforce of the Wraith uh, body shape and wings. And heads for the finish. It'll be a 38.63. 38.63. Now then, David Warburton in this very sophisticated little GR59 featherweight car, 1600 cc Hayabusa engine in the back. David, of course, shares this car with his dad, Alan. Storms off the line in 2.13, that's pretty good. And his speed is 102 at bridge. Late braking. Nicely controlled braking, no wheels locking on the way into Ettore's. He's a little bit behind Matthew Ryder at the moment, but now he's ahead by six tenths. This is a great run. Did he get a bit of an oversteer twitch into S's? Doesn't seem to have slowed him at all. Lift a wheel a little bit in the middle of the S's. There's a bump there. Brilliant run of 37.34. Well done, David. And that's quicker than his qualifying time of 37.40. So let's see how Will gets on. He qualified with the 37.37. He was eighth in the championship in his own car last year. Let's watch his start. Excellent. 2.13, that's pretty good. So he's quick already, 
and his speed was 104 at bridge perfect line late apex at Ettore's touch of downhill then uphill and into part three quarters of a second quicker so will charging into the lead it's dropped a little bit let's see where it is now at uh, 36 8 2 will is actually in second place now trevor what can you do <clears throat> what did trevor do last time he had a great run in 3605 to share third place with matthew Ryder. keep repeating this but trevor three times hill climb champion in this car which he's had for many years and which doesn't produce the 700 or so horses of the Judd 4 litre. Maybe the RPD engine in this car is producing uh, 450, nearing 500. So he's dropped a little bit behind Matthew's time. Grabbed it back again at the S's. Grabbed a little bit more at Semi. Can he slot it into the lead with a 36.44? He does. Well done, Trevor. That's a good run. Neat and tidy and quick. So in a way, it's older technology. It's not, you know, a featherweight car like the GR59. Uh, probably weighs, what would it weigh? 550, 600 kilos. Three and a half liter V8 engine. But a typical storming start by David, getting just a, the right amount of wheel spin. Not quite the quickest 64-foot time, but 111, that's the quickest we've seen so far in this runoff through the bridge speed trap. I think, uh, did it, was it Scotty, did a 114 on the first runs. He's heading the field at the moment by three hundredths, but dropped uh, one and a half, one and a half tenths behind only two hundredths in it at S's, one tenth, one hundredth at semi, and uh, 36 8 1. Now Richard Spedding fighting the big boys with this little 1300cc blown engine in the tiny GWR Raptor, pride of Scotland, uh, built by Graham White. Uh, who was hill climb champion 20 or so years ago in a Gould GR55 with the V6 engine Richard not quite as quick over 64 feet 105 miles an hour Have not easy to match the speed of the bigger cars hasn't got well it's got lots of power when you look at the size of the engine, 450, 500 horsepower, but he's four tenths down at midway, three tenths down at the S's. Maybe we'll pop him into third or fourth spot with a 36.93, a bit quicker than his qualifying time at 37.18. Now Paul Hames on the line. Seventh, as you can tell by the number on the car in last year's Hill Climb Championship. Hayabusa engine, turbocharged, shaft drive to the rear diff. Traction control, get it right. And he does. So off the line, 2.15 is pretty good. And 107 through the bridge is very good. Up to a tour, it's heavy braking, but no wheel locking and rounded Tories down the hill, couple of gear changes possibly and then swoops around uh, pardon he's four tenths down off the pace at the moment five tenths might pop Paul into sixth or seventh place we shall see at the moment it's a 3706 so I think Paul might end up <coughs> eighth or ninth. We'll see. Scott Moran. Scott uh, won the first runoff with a 35.99. Qualified for this runoff with a 36.69. Uh, 
It was such a close run thing between the top five last time. What can Scotty do? He's got the skill and the courage to win the Hill Climb Championship six times in his own car. This one he's sharing with Graham Wynn, of course. Lovely to see Graham in the runoff. Two hundredths down at the moment. Now he's ahead by six tenths. Through the leafy run at the top and into a brilliantly through the S's, lifting a front wheel slightly. Nearly a second ahead at semicircle. Great run, 35.63. Puts Scott Moran in top place for the moment. But remember, we've got Alex Summers and Wallace Ming is still to come. Here comes Alex in the amazing DJ Firestorm with its Cosworth XD unturbocharged IndyCar engine. Gives him just enough power. He could always do with more. <coughs> 1.98, the quickest of our 64 foot starts so far. 400s in the lead at the moment into a Tories. We'll pick up his time at the S's. 200s behind at the moment, but a a tenth up now at Midway, even more at the S's with a quarter of a second up. Lost, dropped a little bit at the semicircle, but takes top spot for the moment with a brilliant run of 35.43. 35.43, two tenths quicker up the hill than Scott Moran. Now then, Wallace is capable of bringing this car up Prescott in 34.65, which is his current uh, record, but that would be quite an achievement under today's rather cooler conditions than prevailed in September last year. Again, excellent start, 2.01, that's good. And 102, he's not as wildly fast into Orchard as some others, but he makes it up being very skillful on the brakes and through the corners. So to Torres, he's three tenths down at the moment. Ten, uh, four tenths now. Maybe Wallace hasn't got. Oh, you see, bit of a slide at S's. That well, he'll have had to lift the throttle for that. Maybe he's not on his best tyres, and it's third place with a 36.14. So. Another highly competitive runoff won by Alex Summers with a 35.43, two tenths behind Scott Moran, 35.63. Then Wallace Ming is third in 36.14, 2 